I will start my presentation talk about Appium 2.0. Uh, first, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Kazaki Matsuo, working at Headspin as a senior software engineer. Previously, I was test and QA and automation role at Cookpad and Access. And I, so I explained many QA and test and automation role. And currently I'm developing Appium and uh, some relevant tools and environment at Headspin. And uh, I also maintain Appium project. So my GitHub account is Kazukokor. So probably if someone uh, saw some Appium repository and client side as well, then probably you, you saw my name in some place. And today I'd like to show you Appium 2.0 and the uh, um, future in Appium 2.0 to improve your understanding of Appium 2.0. Today's main topic is, I hope four items. First, I'd like to show how to install drivers and plugins in Appium 2.0. In the keynote, Jonathan explained Appium 2.0 her ability to allow installing drivers and plugins. But, and then he just show uh, some command, but that's it. So in this talk, I will explain the installation and uh, in the, as a second step, I will show an argument to manage dependencies. The name is Appium Home. And after that, I will show you some customization to install drivers and plugins on your local and a bit more advanced usage. And the end, as our topic four, I will show additional two arguments to improve some performance or loading performance. So first for three, Item is, is the main topic to in this talk. And then the final one is a bit more hmm, additional thing. Okay, go ahead. Ah, oh, I forget to explain that this mentioned this. I uh, today I will show you some command. And uh, I will show this slide and switching the switching and uh, doing a demonstration and uh, doing explanation and the uh, switching both and to improve your understanding. So this talk will switching this slide and uh, our command line tools to show you some, yeah, to show uh, actual command. Let's go ahead. First, I will show installing up drivers and the plugins via Appium 2.0 command. So just show some installation command in the keynote. So you can install, once you install Appium on your local, and then you can install multiple drivers and plugins. For example, the top one is Appium driver install XUI test. Then you can install XUI test driver on your local. Let me run a bit more big. Currently, my local have Appium 2.0 and the latest, I forget the version, but Appium 2.0 is in my local. So Appium uh, driver install right test. And then after this command, Appium try to install the XUI test driver from NPM repository. And checking something, so in the background, Appium try to, trying to install this XUI test driver from the internet. It takes, yeah, usually uh, if your local environment, still does have the XUI test driver on your local, then this command installs the XUI test from NPM 
repository, but I already have extra test driver on my local. So like this error appears, but you can install other drivers using this RPM driver install, blah, 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 as same as plugins as well. So I've been plugging, install something, then you can install the driver on your local. But current my local environment have already installed XY tests, so the error is shown, was shown. And next is, let's try to run RPM 2.0 on my local. So let's try to run fast without known arguments, just this RPM command, and then Appium 2.0 launched and uh, try to load available drivers on my local. So this is the launching and uh, the Appium driver try to load various drivers on my local. So Safari, XY test, Flutter, XY automation, and uh, the Appium launches this listener. So, uh, uh, Currently on my local, I've been listening to 4723 port and uh, that available drivers is this four currently on my local and the plugins also available this fake driver, which is I uh, use in RPM testing and the images uh, is offshore RPM driver. And this is uh, just, I run RPM command like this. After launching Appium, then Appium try to install available drivers on your local. And then after that, Appium print available drivers and available plugins. So once you launch Appium on your local, and if you already install various drivers and the various plugins, and then you can confirm which driver is available on your local and which plugins also available on your local. But one question is where the they are, I mean, where is the drivers and the plugins installed in? This is a very important thing. By default, on this is a Mac OS and the Linux case. I forget, unfortunately, Windows case uh, where the place, but Windows case actually have the, this default place. And by default, Appium, install Appium dependencies under .appium directory. So in my case, also let's try to find the default place. Yes, in the default home, in the home directory and the .appium directory, then you can see various drivers and plugins. This local environment have Safari and XUI and Flutter and the UI Automator 2 drivers. So you can see Flutter and the UI Automator 2 and Safari and XUI test drivers. And this environment have fake and the images plugins. The plugins is in this at Appium directory. So you once you check the dot up at appium directory, then you can see some plugins, fake plugins and the images. And this dot appium directory also have a file with called extensions YAML. This file is also very important for appium. Let's check this, take a look at this file a bit. And then you can see some metadata used by RPM to manage drivers and plugins. Basically RPM handle drivers and uh, detect, uh, basically RPM detect drivers checking this extension YAML. So in this case, if you send specify XUI test driver and the, the platform name is iOS, then Appium detects 
current driver should be this XUI test driver. This extension file have more additional metadata, but almost used by Appium internal. The important thing is basically this automation name and the platform names. They are managed in there in this dot Appium directory, and Appium put drivers and plugins into this dot Appium directory by default, and the the, the directory of extensions YAML file to handle RPM dependencies. Back to slide. So yeah, I explained the uh, extensions YAML and uh, go ahead. Yeah. So the next, already next step. Yeah. The next is, is RPM home argument. I explained by default, Appium installs drivers and plugins in .appium directory in the home directory place. Let me show this Appium home argument thing. First, to understand the behavior, let's try to run this command. Appium. Um, Home and do the task. Oh, session one. And then I just launch Appium command with this Appium and uh, with Appium home. The directory path is this. And then Appium actually launched but nothing load, nothing drivers loaded, and the plugins also nothing. What happened? With this Appium home, you can customize the dot Appium directory place. So with this command, you can change the loaded place By default, drivers and plugins are installed in .appium directory in my home directory, but with this appium home, I specified the path which is not in .appium. So appium itself try to load the dependencies from this new place. Appium home argument itself specified this Path. So you can customize the price to install drivers and plugins with this. Let's try to install XUI test driver with this Appium home argument. Let's stop once and the Appium driver install XUI test with Appium home. And then initially I, I typed this Appium driver install XUI test, but then that command failed because I already installed the XCI test driver on my local. Actually, you can see XCI test driver on the default.appium directory, but in this time, I typed the same XCI test driver installation in the new place. So currently, install is proceeding February. It takes uh, in a minute. Hmm. Let's back to the slide a bit. And once install is finished, then up in print like this output. So installation finished and the, the target automation name is, is XR test and the platform is iOS in this case. So if you install for example, hmm, UI Automator 2, then this automation name should be UI Automator 2, and this platform name is Android. So probably already finished. Oh. That's who was. Okay, sorry, we only have five minutes left. Okay. 
Okay. Let's go ahead. Oh, sorry, my keyboard is a bit lagged. Okay, and uh, after finishing the install, then the new place already uh, have uh, two, uh, one directory and one file and uh, oh, already finished. So once you install this new place with apim command, then the driver, the command try to load the XY test and uh, yeah, this file already have XY test driver. So Yeah, app even succeeded to load this exact test driver. And the one important thing is just uh, copy this driver file to the new one. For example, session one hyphen one. And then you can see the same file as the, this just a session one into the this session one, one. And once you launch the Appium with this one, one directory, then Appium will also succeed to load the XCR test driver because this session one and the one, one have the same drivers and the Appium load drivers in the, this place. It means if you manage only this Appium home directory and uh, move this place onto, for example, CI server or some place, and then you can use the same driver and load the same driver on the some place, other place. The important thing is you must confirm the, what architecture is built for. So currently I install XY test driver for Mac OS, then probably some dependencies might only for Mac OS. So if you want to move this driver to Linux environment, for example, and then you need to prepare drivers for Linux. Sorry, the time is coming. So I explained a bit only on command line, but the side explained the same thing. So go ahead, go ahead. And the last thing is plugins and drivers argument. First, only I launched Appium, then it takes a, lot, a bit long time to load all drivers. So one, two, three, four drivers is on this local. So it, the Appium takes much time to load all drivers. When you only want to load only one driver, and then you can specify drivers and plugins argument. You can add some drivers with comma separation, but in this time, just launch with XCI test only. And then after you load XCI only XCI test driver, so even you, you are local, have more drivers, but you can, you, when you want to use XY test driver only, then you can specify XY test driver with driver's argument. Then you can reduce the loading performance time when Appium launches. And plugin also, you can use the same. So once you specify the plugin with plugin argument, then Appium load XY test driver and uh, enable this images plugins only. Okay. Or oh, sorry, the time is a bit over. But my my talk is everything. So I explained there some drivers and plugin installation and Appium home thing to customize the location to install. Appium dependencies. And I also explained the drivers and plugins arguments to manage loading dependencies. Sorry, a bit uh, time delayed, but 
That's it for me. Yeah, thank you, Godzuaki. At the moment, we have two questions. Maybe you want to answer the questions that we have from the attendees? Uh, yeah, the first one. Yeah, the specified version is actually easy. I just uh, typed extra test driver, but you can specify out some versions. So if you want to install extra test 3.5, 15.1, for example. And in that case, you can just uh, install, this is not an installation command, but you can install it like this. And then RPM install this version. A bit more, sorry. This one. Okay. Do we need to configure slide here? Uh, the next question is, do we need to configure WDS directory for different RPM home directories? Basically, WDriver agent is included in XUI, uh, XUI test driver directory. So WDA also in XUI test driver. And if in case you want to prepare pre-built XDA binary, on your local to reduce some build, uh, some building steps, then you need to prepare the WDA process outside RPM. But it depends on the macOS system. So it is not in the RPM. Uh, actually, WDA module itself is inside the RPM home. But the building and the build module by default is outside RPM directory and RPM handling uh, area. So you need to probably prepare separate place to for WDA. Yeah, I think there are no more questions, uh, Tatsuaki. So that brings us to the end of the session. I'd like to say thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Godzuaki, for sharing your experience today.